Hello, Christ is in our midst. I'm Father Kevin Long of St. Elias, St. York and Orthodox Church in Newcastle, Pennsylvania. Today is Monday, January 23rd, 2023, and here are the readings for today. Today's epistle reading is from St. Paul's letter to the Philippians, chapter 3, verses 20 through chapter 4, verse 3. Brethren, our commonwealth is in heaven, and from it we await a Savior, the Lord Jesus Christ, who will change our lowly body to be like his glorious body by the power which enables him even to subject all things to himself. Therefore, my brethren, whom I love and long for, my joy and crown, stand firm thus in the Lord, my beloved. I entreat Eudoia, and I entreat Synthiki to agree in the Lord. And I ask you also, to yoke fellow, to help these women, for they have labored side by side with me in the gospel together with Clement and the rest of my fellow workers, whose names are in the book of life. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Mark, chapter 2, verses 23 through chapter 3, verse 5. Let us be attentive. At that time Jesus was going through the grain fields, and as they made their way, his disciples began to pluck heads of grain. And the Pharisees said to him, Look, why are they doing what is not lawful on the Sabbath? And he said to them, Have you never read what David said, when he was in need and was hungry, he and those who were with him, how he entered the house of God when Abathar was the high priest and ate the bread of the presence, which is not lawful for any but the priest to eat, and also gave it to those who were with him? And he said to them, The Sabbath was made for man, not man for the Sabbath. So the Son of Man is Lord, even of the Sabbath. Again he entered the synagogue, and a man was there with a withered hand. And they watched him to see whether he would heal him on the Sabbath, and so that they might accuse him. And he said to the man who had the withered hand, Come here. And he said to them, Is it lawful on the Sabbath to do good or to do harm, to save life or to kill? But they were silent. And he looked around at them with anger, grieved at their hardness of heart, and said to the man, Stretch out your hand. He stretched it out, and his hand was restored. Glory to thee, our God, glory to thee. In today's epistle reading, we have a very powerful statement. Brethren, our commonwealth is in heaven. That is the key to the Christian life. To whom do we belong? Where is our residence? Now, many of us could say, well, my residence is Newcastle, Pennsylvania, or some other place in the United States or beyond. But the reality is those of us who have been baptized into Christ and have put on Christ actually have a citizenship elsewhere, not here, but in heaven. This is a hard thing for us to understand because around us are very busy things, political intrigue, houses, property. There are all sorts of distractions that keep us from what really matters. And I'm not to say that we should despise where we live. I'm not saying that we should treat it with a casual ambivalence or an indifference, but we need to make sure that our priorities are in the right order. Heaven is our true and only home. And so when we think about that in those terms, then we also need to do the things that show that our citizenship is indeed in heaven. There are a couple of things to bring up here. The first is compare this life with its length of days, with eternity, with its infinite length of days. Our time in eternity will make our time on earth look to be like a second. Here we struggle and we toil. Here we come up with arbitrary rules to govern conduct and to set up systems of justice and equality, or sometimes injustice and inequality, whatever the case may be. This is the way of the world. The way of heaven is an entirely different thing. Make sure your heart is in the right place. Make sure I need to make sure that my heart is in the right place. And so that's the first thing, that by understanding that our citizenship is in heaven, we need to make sure that we keep
keep a proper sense of what it means to be on earth and what it means to be in heaven. So what do we do? We love God with everything that we have because he is the source of all good things. It's infinite in mercy, forgiveness, kindness, and love. And so we do things that are worthy of that kind of love. So we live a life that Christ wants us to live. Minding us, he does, that if we love him, we will keep his commandments. So if we do that, we do show indeed that our citizenship is in heaven. And we will treat it, be treated in accordance to just that. Well, thank you very much for joining me today. I hope you found value in this video. If you did, please give it a like and subscribe if you can. And meanwhile, I pray that God will bless you and those that you love today and always. And God willing, we will see you tomorrow.